Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Today's actually Monday. I'm finally vlogging in the beginning of the week. And you guys, excuse me looking like a freaking bum. But the reason why is, are you guys ready for this? <sighs> Let me show you the damage. So, my crazy ass, look at the freaking sink. It is full. It looks crazy. I have a freaking toaster and on one of the stools. All this is just junk. That's just something I have to do while I'm, I'm just piling up the dishes in the sink as I'm going. So I'm starting from this side of the kitchen and slowly gonna clean everything off. And I just wanted to re, like, reorganize it. Um, I don't think I've shown you guys before how I had it before. Maybe I have, I don't remember, but I had like my little coffee air station area right here where I had these two and then like a bunch of mason jars and then my straws and I just had it right here in the corner and then I had my toaster right here before and then all the like hot sauces that we had, spices just randomly just like piled up right here against this wall and then my protein shakes right here. So I just decided to stack my cutting boards right here and then have my little um, jars right here just aligned um i have the big one for my arroz frijoles coffee and sugar just stack it to the side because now i'm starting to cook on this counter right here um like chopping stuff and everything like that so i just decided to put like the cutting boards and then these two drawers i have like my knives my spoons and, and everything like that so yeah just decided to do that and then when I do salsas I'll just have my blender right here so it's closer um, to the stovetop I actually just cleaned the stovetop really quick not I didn't do like a deep clean so like the middle parts probably it's a little dirty but it is what it is I just wanted to do like a quick deep clean and then I decided to put um, before I had all my my like coffee and little things in on this little platter thing um but i just decided to put everything like spices all my spices all my hot sauces and oil and then like non-stick oil um non-stick spray all right here just so i have all my seasonings also close to the stove top and um just more organized you know and then i left the microwave where it I had it before I just added um, the, it's a plastic cutlery combo so when we have guests whenever we do um, we just use like plastic stuff just so it's easier just to toss and not have to clean a bunch of dishes and yeah so now I'm like slowly moving to this side and I just need to figure out where to put my toaster I think I'm just gonna put my toaster right here in the middle and just leave it like that um, and yeah, you guys, these are clean. I just have to put them away. But look at my sink. <sighs> Scary. So, yeah. I'm like slowly getting to it, you guys. And you guys, I might take a shot after this. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, I haven't taken a straight shot. I'm so scared. Uh, I cannot handle my liquor anymore. But let me know. Are you guys like a tequila person or vodka or beer? Or what type? Because I know Alfredo loves his whiskey. I can't do whiskey anymore. I can just do beer and then here and there like mixed drinks. But yeah, my tolerance went super down. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish trying to organize all this stuff. And see you guys later.
probably should have said that right now, but I'm exhausted. Decided to do a workout while Matthew slept because um, I've been waking up early in the morning trying to start my days before he wakes up. So he usually wakes up around like 7.30 or 8. So I wake up when he wakes up for his first feeding of the day, which is like 4 or 5. Um, but last night he woke up around 3 because he knocked out um, at a random time. So I was not going to wake up at 3 to work out. My time is either 4 or 5. <laughs> so I ended up just sleeping in and instead of waiting for the next day to work out, I just decided to work out while he slept. And I found this 30 minute uh, full body workout. And what I liked about the girl is that she has modifications. So it's like a split screen. She has like the regular exercise and if you can't do it for any reason, like me, I have a bad knee. So a lot of jumping around, it will affect my knee really bad. So she has ones where it's like not as much as um, impact on your knees or your bones and it's probably like apartment friendly also so you're not making so much noise so i did that and you guys i'm exhausted look at my face is like super red so yeah and also i've been making like little lists on what to like daily tasks i found this notepad at um the dollar tree and it's like 60 pages so all I have is my little list of what to do. And I've been trying to like do daily tasks and set like little goals here and there. So that way I feel like I'm fulfilling something during my day and not just, you know, going by the day like nothing. Like I feel I'm not, not feeling accomplished, I mean. So yeah. That's what I've been up to. I'm trying to get back on track of like feeling more productive. Like it's not like before, like I wouldn't do anything to be productive. It's just that like I was just in like a a fog, I guess, just doing stuff to do stuff. But once I said like little daily tasks and like little goals for the week, then I feel like I'm doing something or look like, I feel like I'm looking forward to something throughout the week other than just doing my just normal stuff every day, if that makes sense. So if you feel like you're in a funk, start doing like little daily tasks. Even if it's like, take a shower. If you cross that off, you'll feel accomplished. Like it's just all in your head. So then you start setting up like little other goals. And yeah. So right now I'm just gonna cool down. Hopefully Matthew sleeps a little longer so I can just take a quick bath. I mean shower. And then I am basically not free for the whole day but my main thing was to work out because you guys i feel like my body naturally retains water weight and this week is like my period week and i just feel like super bloated like my face feels bloated my stomach feels bloated everything feels bloated and i'm not liking it so i'm trying to drink a lot of water say hello welcome to today's today's walk hello my name is matthew and today it's friday and that means chicken noodle soup chicken noodle soup anyways hey guys hey guys <laughs> so hello here with my co-star my ride or die with matthew and today is friday um and i've been wanting to make chicken noodle soup don't mind my crazy hair if we it's pretty early. Well, it's 10.30, so. Um, so yeah, I've been wanting to make chicken noodle soup, and I think I have all the ingredients. Um, there's just some spices that I don't have that some recipes call for, but I think either way it's gonna taste okay. And that way Matthew can try it also, because he can try all the soft vegetables and some noodles, and then little caldito. I was gonna make caldo de pollo, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I just want like with noodles, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you guys because I've had a few people tell me to show them some recipes. I know this is just like a basic recipe, but 
you know, sometimes sentatoha chicken noodle soup and you don't want the Campbell's chicken noodle soup because it's so plain. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna make chicken noodle soup. Final product, nice and hearty chicken, zanahoria, celery, Ooh, this is steaming hot, you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this, and see you guys later.